Hey guys, so I'm gonna do get ready with me slash makeup tutorial on how I do my black lipstick and yeah. Um I just took a shower obviously, so I just brushed my hair up. Uh, I'm gonna put some of this that I just got. It's called from John Frida. I got it for like four dollars on sale at Shoppers. It's for blonde hair. Bottle looks like this. And yeah, I'm gonna put this in my hair. I like to put oils in my hair because my hair is curly, so if it does curl nice, then that helps. And my hair is really damaged from bleaching and all kinds of stuff. So I'm just gonna rub it in my hands, rub it in my hair. All right. tips for sure. Okay, I'm going to my friend's house. It's like, it looks like I can rub all the oil off my hands. I'm going to my friend's house. We're going to play puzzles. Make puzzles? I don't know. He's making a puzzle. I'm going to help him. Alright, so I'm going to start off with is concealer. I use the Rimmel London Match Perfection. Uh, skin tone adapting concealer. Looks like this. Um, do I have a hold up? So, I like to put this under my eyes and around because I have dark circles. I don't really put foundation on because I yeah, things a struggle and I just find that my skin is just going to get really shitty if I do that. So, I just put it around my eyes because I look tired all the time. So this is going to look scary, but I put it here, 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 and here. And by the way, it's just like this brush thing. And then I will take my foundation brush. And then I'll just go here too. So this is what you want to look like. <laughs> get my foundation brush, which is right here. I have a Quo one. I don't have to spend money on this shit. So, just rub that all around my eyes and down. Very important. I'm using my laptop as lighting. <laughs> get to... Because it's like night time right now. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, that's done. So it's all even out, got in the corners and stuff. Then, because I'm going to be using some kind of eyeshadow that I don't know yet, I'll have this side later. I'm going to show you guys how to do the black lip, but I'm not going to keep it on because I don't really feel like keeping it up because it is like annoying to keep up. So I'm going to use this, again, Rema London. I guess I like that. Extravagant Undercover Eyeshadow Primer. Look like this. It's like a white thing. It's not going to come out like white. So all I do is just kind of dab it on my eyes like that. Like that. And then you just take, I've heard that your ring finger, so this finger, is your softest finger. So you take that finger and just pat wherever you're going to put eyeshadow basically. So I put it a little bit higher. And then you're supposed to wait for this to dry. So as I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to pick what color of eyeshadow I want. I think I might just go for neutral, because that's usually like what I go for. Uh, I don't feel like going too crazy, because I'm just going to hang out with my friends. So. And plus the black lipstick will be dramatic enough. So I have this palette. I got this for Christmas. I don't know what kind of palette it is, but I'm got it at the bay. And this closes up nope, like this. And then it has like a little elastic, like that. Like that. And then you can just like carry it around if you want to. I just keep it around. I have like three, four palettes now. But this one's kind of one of my favorites at the moment, just because it's new. Um, yeah, I have the Hello Kitty one too, which I like, but I don't like using it because it's Hello Kitty. And I want to keep it good and pretty. Um, so, that thing should be dry right now. 
Um, trying to find. Oh, five palettes. I have this too. Okay. What I need. This is my all-time favorite. But I'm running out, as you can see. I'm using like I've used like all the nudes. But I want to get her new palette someday. Okay. So I need to find my. Okay, there it is. So this is my crease brush blender, whatever the hell it is. And I'm gonna take, I think I might go for a shimmery gold color look. You know what? No. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take, um, I'll put it here. This color. It's like a brown, dark brown shimmer. I'm going to put that on the outside of my lids. Like so. So you see how I create a triangle with my going down and then I go up on the crease. Like that. And then I'm going to do the same and I'll show you guys it in here. Because I noticed that I'm not showing you. So, this, and then like this, and then you go like, kind of fill it in, but don't fill it in all of it, because you're going to put like a lighter color in there. So, I like to go over it a couple times just to make sure the color is sitting in there good, and that the corners are dark. Um, and I like to go a little bit higher, just because we're going to put a blender on top. So, and don't worry if it's too messy now, because, like, the blender will just get rid of all that. Okay. So that's the dark. Okay. And then I'm going to take a lighter gold. I'm probably going to mix these two right here. So, I'm going to start with the lighter one first to see if I like that. And I'm just tapping it to cut the excess off, of course. And then I'm just gonna go like that. Like that. And then I'll show you now. Take the lighter tap. Like that. And you're not gonna put all your pressure in at the end, you're just gonna let it flick. Because you want that to blend in together. So that's how you get the blending going. Then you do it, do it again, and again. Just so we're doing it on my phone. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Okay, all right. And you can like clean the brush off and like blend if you're like kind of derpy about it. That's how I used to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna take like a clay-looking color. I think it's what these two is usually what I go for. But I'm gonna go for this one today. Cause I'm doing like lots of browns. So that one's gonna be good for the blend. So we're gonna take that. And it's pretty translucent this color I find, so like it's pretty easy to blend. So we're just gonna go on top of the eyelid like that. See how you have that harsh line? We're just gonna go over top like this and blend. And you can be messy with it. Just go like that. And then you're gonna go on the other side. And you see how like that just comes into a soft gradient your lid. See that? Now it's smooth. You can just keep blending. Oh, I put that one in the wrong color. Okay, and then we're going to take a highlight color, so I'm going to go for the lighter color here. And do this. Right on the corner here. Bottom. So, I have some drops on me, so I'm just going to flick that off with a clean blush brush, like that. So, so that's a subtle, like, clean look that I usually wear on my eyes. And the next part is eyeliner. I use NYC, the cheapest one. I got some, like, side fame. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, the side fat got me. Got me feeling weird. I was wondering if I should 
I don't know. Should I edit that up? No, I don't know. Okay. So, I use one that looks like a brush. Mine's kind of like out almost. And it's kind of like that. So, I'm just going to... Okay, let's see if I can do this. So, I'm going to bring this mirror as close as possible so that you can see and what I'm doing. And so I can see what I'm doing because you have to get close. So, I'm going to do the wing eyeliner. A lot of people ask me how I do this. It's pretty easy. You just need practice. Just do this on times you're bored. Okay, so first you're gonna take a you're gonna make a line and you're gonna go up. It's important you have to go up because if you go sideways you're gonna have this like weird I don't know if you wanna look for that, but you know. So if you got the good wood one, you're gonna go up. So up. And you know how we made that triangle earlier? Try to go on the outside of that. So you see how that and mine went way too far, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to dab again. It's important to have a wet brush always when you're doing this. And then you're going to take the end of that right there and go down. And you're going to go meet in the middle. And you see, like, I didn't even do that perfect the first time. And that's just good because, like, I'm just going to fill it in anyway. So I'm going to go for more here. And I'm going to go across, down the line, and I'm going to fill it in. And there you go. So, and then if you want to go like in more, just go down to your line, eyelash line, and just keep going as far as you want to go. And I like it halfway. I don't know. It's up to you. That is a big wing line, but whatever. I'm showing you guys what it is. He's gonna be like, whoa, what the hell? It's okay. Right. Sorry about that, it cut out because I have no room on my my uh, iPhone anymore. Um, I just backed it up, so, and I just got dressed, so. This is what I'm wearing t shirt now, and a hat, and some jewelry. Um, I got this from AliExpress, I think it is called. Um, basically, type in cat hat, you'll find it. Um, this is, I don't know. My mom gave it to me, and I'm just wearing a shirt from Blue Notes that is uh, distressed. And yeah, so so I'm gonna show you the lip really quick because I have to go, and I need to wash it off before because I don't want to wear a black lip. Um, so I'm pretty sure this will work with any lip gloss. What I'm using is a any black liner. It doesn't have to be this one. This one's all May. Um, and just a dark lip gloss. Um, so yeah, what you do is you line it. So I'm just gonna line it. This is gonna look funny, I know. Um, so I already have like some pink lipstick on right now. But I'm gonna line it around my lip. And then I'm just gonna, <laughs> and then I'm just gonna color it. In. And don't worry about it being perfect, cause you're just gonna put up gloss on it to smudge it in. You can use any cheap old eyeliner. You don't have to use your nice one. Okay. So, now that my lips are really dry, you don't want to do this all the time because your lips are going to be really dry. So, you smudge it in like that. And then take your like dark lip gloss or maybe any lip gloss. I haven't tried it with anyone. Let me know if it does work. And just put it on and just smudge it around. Get all those parts. And this lip gloss is from Smashbox. It's called Sultry. And there you go. There's my black lip look. Close up, and it just, it just, 
I mean, like, I can't buy all the nice things. I mean, I got this from, like, Winners for, like, $2 when I was on sale. Like, I can't afford all the nice stuff, so. And I know black lipstick costs a lot. And I cut on your teeth. <laughs> I know black tip lipstick co does cost a lot, so this is like a cheap way of doing it. Like, I'm pretty sure you can use any lips gloss at all to just to go over top to smudge your eyeliner in. And I, the first time I did this, I used like a dollar store eyeliner, and I don't know where that went, so I couldn't use it now. But, but yeah, so if you want a black lipstick like this, then all you have to do is that. So, thanks for watching, and just a reminder. I have a like page now, follow my Twitter and all that stuff, and please subscribe. So I just wiped off my black lipstick because I'm not going to be wearing that tonight. Um, I put some red Sephora lipstick on. I got that as a gift. Don't think I bought that. Um, so I have a hat. And... Yeah, that's my outfit. My room's so messy, but... I'm just so proud of this outfit because I'm out of clothes. So this is just like my cute little hanging out a friend's outfit. My hair is still drying, so it's going to be a little bit weird for a bit. But yeah, this light makes me feel so white. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye. Love you. <laughs> oh, it's not going to end now, is it? You guys will stay. Okay, bye. <laughs>